Once again, Walmart strikes again. And they're going to get you next year when they want to roll out all these summertime goods that they are stuffing in containers behind my Walmart. Now, I took this video that you're going to see here in a few minutes. And it's what is going on behind my Walmart. They have uh, about seven containers right now. And I was talking with the shipping and receiving manager. And normally, at this time of year, they start getting these containers in because they start getting them ready to put all the Black Friday products into these containers. And they get them all ready so they can roll them right out and set the floor for Black Friday. This year, what they are doing is, is they're putting all the goods that they don't have room for in the store and that they didn't sell, all the summertime goodies from your gas grills, bicycles, lawn furniture, all that type of stuff is all going in these containers to set throughout the winter. And then come spring, well, they're going to pop it all right back out into the store. You think you're getting something new when in reality you're not. What they're doing is they probably bought these products more than likely over well over a year ago because of the logistics of trying to get all this stuff here. And guess what? Now it goes into a container. And then when they roll it out next year, they're probably going to charge you even more for it because of inflation. And they're really going to rake in the money. You see, they have to come up with ways to make money because they're losing money on a daily basis. Walmart came out the other day and they also did state that this year for their seasonal employees that they're going to hire, they're only hiring 40,000 people. Last year at this point in time, they were looking to hire 150,000 more employees to help get them through the Christmas rush which isn't going to take place. Both Target and Walmart have already announced that, you know what, they're not waiting for Black Friday. They need the cash now, if you get what I'm saying, folks. So you're going to start seeing all these deals on all this different types of Christmas stuff and everything else, and they're all going to be hitting the stores as soon as possible, as soon as they can get the goods that they can't sell out of the store and place all these goods in the store so that you and me will hopefully go in there and indulge in some of their great sales that they plan on having now because they can't wait until Black Friday. They can't wait to make the money. You see, they have this huge overhead and they're taking a huge hit. They've lowered their expectations on Wall Street. They're lowering the amount of people they're hiring this year. Doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out that the Walmart company is in trouble. And this goes for Walmart and Sam's at my Sam's Club. You know what, folks? They have trailers that are parked outside that are backed up end to end so nobody can get into them full of goods they have no room for. So they're trying to figure out how to move all this kind of stuff and how they're going to make room for all the Christmas stuff that they want to start getting out on the floors, just like at Walmart. And they'll probably succeed. More than likely, they'll get containers over there too and start putting that stuff in there. I haven't seen that happen yet, but I wouldn't doubt that that's probably going to take place. Or... They're just going to load it on tractor trailers and park them out in the parking lot and put them back to back so nobody can get into them. And this way here, it'll stay nice, warm and cozy, dry until they need it again next year. You see, there's a huge, huge overstock in just about every store there is of lawn furniture, patio goods, um, stuff around your pool, um, all these type of summertime goodies, they just don't have the room for because nobody is buying because nobody can afford to buy with, with the high inflation. Let's face it, folks. People are getting down to the point where what they have to do is they're deciding on what they're going to spend their money on. Food, housing, their vehicle, gas, all the main 
critical things that you have to have on a daily basis to survive. People are not buying big screen TVs. They're not buying lawn furniture. They're not buying big barbecues. They're not buying all this kind of stuff. They don't have the money. Even though the people are working, they're being priced out of what is taking place. So in this video here, you're going to see as I drive by and I'm shooting this video, you know, they're sitting here and they're stocking things up. And, you know, these are all containers that they are loading up all the different goods for summertime. And supposedly they're going to be getting more to put out there to either make room or to store away. Because everything that they're getting in on the trucks, whatever it may be, they wanted to go out on the floor as soon as possible because that is the Christmas products. So one has to ask themselves, I think the Walmart Corporation is in some serious trouble right now. Do I think they'll go under? No. Do I think that they're going to be hurting for a while? Yes. Because they overextended everything. They've been buying up all this junk from China, and now they can't get this junk from China. And when it finally does get here, nobody's buying it. Nobody has the money. Even when they do these ridiculous clearance sales throughout the store, people still don't have the money for it. It's a fact of life. It's what we have to deal with on a daily basis. All of us. So I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Thank you for joining me on this Sunday video. I hope everybody stays safe. You keep prepping. And watch out because all these major retailers are starting all their sales now. They want your money and they want it now. They're not waiting until Black Friday. So if you want to get deals and stuff for Christmas, you may want to start looking around now because I have a funny feeling there's not really a lot to go around and they're not really buying a lot either. So when it's gone, it's gone. And you may not be able to get that new bicycle or probably that nice doll for your daughter because it's not going to be available. And if it is, if it's in high demand, you won't be able to afford it. So start doing your shopping now, folks, because Lord only knows what's going to happen once Black Friday rolls around and there's nothing in the stores. Maybe they'll roll out all the summertime goods and start selling them. Hell, you can put that patio furniture out in that snowbank. A few cold beers, start a bonfire. Eh, it might work. Till next time, I'll catch you all on the flip side.